Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cricket 19 Career Mode. We're continuing with the T20 Slam. Um, I said in the end of the last episode that these kind of T20 games make for shorter games and we're not really getting that much time to actually play because we're kind of a part-time bowler and we're batting at number five. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the two, two next T20 games, which I think are for us against Middlesex and then against Surrey. And then we're going to sim through the rest of this T20 um, so that we can get into some more county games uh, and then we will go and play for uh, for the Tasmanian Tigers um, in the JLT Sheffield Shield. So uh, we're just going to play these two T20s. Hopefully we can end them on a high uh, and then we'll hopefully in the next episode get on to some uh, counter cricket, which I definitely prefer and I, th I think at least makes better videos. So um, this is the last couple of T20 games for a little while. So uh, let's see if we can end them on a high. So Middlesex have World Cup winning captain Owen Morgan in their team. But we have called the toss. It is Tails. And Tails has never failed. If you ever have to toss a coin, guys, always go for Tails. It's the only way to win. Another soft, grassy pitch. And we're going to have a bat. So we're going to set a score. We've, we haven't done too well when setting a score. We've, we've often done better chasing. But hopefully we get more than one ball. Because that's what we got in the uh, last T20 game to bat. And we only got two buys. Um... So hopefully we get a chance to bat a little more. And it looks like it looks like we are. We're coming in actually in the eighth over. We're 54 for three. So we've lost uh, some early wickets. Oh, that was very close. Yeah, we've lost some we've lost some uh, early wickets, which is not too good. We're at we're at the crease with Clayton, so we're going to have to play ourselves in a bit, and. Uh, then hopefully get moving, hit some boundaries. And, and actually for the first time, I think in this T20 slam, actually construct an innings. Because I just don't think we've been able to have the time to construct a proper innings. We've always been in having to, you know, not score too many or, you know, just not having enough balls to do anything from. So hopefully we can do something positive this time is my hope. That's a nice shot from us. Uh, but we just get a two. Fortunately, the fielder just cut that one off. But it was a decent shot from us. Just kind of piercing that gap there between, kind of, what was he, gully-ish area and, and third man. We sneak a single in there. I definitely feel like in, in T20 they properly... Uh, pound the ball in as well, the fielders, way more than they do in the uh, county games. The captain is going with the medium pacer. Right, Ty Hicks into the attack. He is a medium pacer, so we'll have to watch out for the... Uh... Oh, a medium pacer bowling 86 miles an hour. I did not expect that. And look at that, that tail in. Um, God, that just... <laughs> Those four balls are really hard to play. And uh, we're gone for four. So there was me talking about constructing an innings. And uh, we've made things a little harder for Warwickshire. Right, we are given a chance to bowl here in the in the uh, ninth over. They're 49 for three. So they haven't made, you know, the best of starts either. Uh, with Sterling and my group. I think that's how you say his name. At the crease. Um... So we've we've had we've done we've done pretty good actually in terms of a bowling uh, perspective. We've taken some wickets. We have given away quite a few runs, but you know that's kind of what you would expect of of a spinner in T20. Uh, but we have taken some big wickets when we've come in. Stop that! Ah, oh, he's got the gap there. Just gave him a little bit too much width there on the leg side, and he punished us. One thing that we're able to do is we're just not able to, to pick those gaps as, as easily. And that one again, a little too straight. And we've been worked away for another boundary. So back to back boundaries to end the over. Uh, but they're persisting with us. Captain's keeping his faith. They do need a. They do. They're not too far off the required run rate, so they're probably where they would like to be after ten. Yeah, we haven't really bowled to our field um, as well as we you know, could have or should have. But uh, 
yeah, you know, in those kind of balls there, a ball there, you know, it's, unless he kind of gets it very fine, in which case he risks getting an edge and getting it to slip, um, you know, he's going to just get a single at best. So, again, in this case, you know, he's, it's rare that he's going to be able to hit us for, for a boundary because we've got the guys on, you know, deep on the leg side. So we need to be a bit more wary of that, I think, as we go forward and, and play more, play more T20. Again, decent ball from us there, picked up by the field. It's not a bad one, much better one from the, us that time. But uh, alas, we, we, don't, we don't win in the end. Uh, they got 139 for five with just over two overs still left. I think um, if we look at our scorecard, we definitely didn't uh, get the big scores we wanted. Wokes and, and actually Brooks uh, top scoring with 31 each. Uh, yeah, the top order, I failed, Arnold failed. Uh, Sibley failed. He got a big score in the last game. So, yeah, we didn't do we didn't do the best. Um, but hopefully, we're going to jump into the next game, and hopefully, that might lead to a, a bit better result. All right. So we're ending our uh, T20 Slam, uh, or our our one at least, prematurely against Surrey here. Uh, we didn't get. We haven't really done too well in this T20. Uh, we have started every game, but I'm not sure we. Uh, We've deserved to start many of the games. We've taken a couple of good wickets, but uh, we haven't really contributed anything with the bat. And uh, saying that we're a dominant batsman hasn't really helped us in this format of the game. So hopefully we can do something in this game, end in a bit of style. Uh, we're going to be chasing, see if we get a chance to bowl. We do get chucked the ball in the first four overs. So this is really not where I want to be bowling. Uh, we've been hit for quite a few and uh, yeah bowling in the power play isn't going to uh, isn't going to help our figures I don't think but we started off with two dot balls so not the not the worst start but uh, Rory Burns that is obviously the England opening batsman now doing okay against the Aussies Obviously got the century in the first innings. Um, a decent-ish uh, half century in the uh, first innings of the second game. So he seems to be settling into that role quite well. Catch that. Oh, he's found the gap. Dean Elgar's found the gap and uh, boundary to end the over. So what was a pretty good over ended with a, with a boundary. So I'd say they've made a they've made a pretty good start here. Uh, they've obviously lost no wickets, which is huge. Oh, swing and a miss! Great little ball from us there. Rory Burns was absolutely bamboozled. Right, we're carrying on our spell here. Uh, we still haven't been able to break this partnership, and uh, Rory Burns picks the gap there beautifully. But it's not going to go for a boundary, which is good news for us. Starting off the uh, over with a boundary would have really put us on the back foot. Just a single that time. That could have very easily gone for a four. So very thankful for that fielder. So they end with 175 for two. Rory Burns got a 66 off 56. Dean Elgar got 85. So they did... You know, score the bulk of their runs for their team in that game. Sledgehammer and Paul came in and made small contributions. But uh, 175 for two is definitely not going to be an easy task to, to chase. Um, so, yeah, let's see if we can get anywhere close. Honestly, not too hopeful, but let's see. So, uh, just looking at our stats as we walked out, needing 99.55. We've averaged 10 <laughs> in, the, uh, in the T20 games. Um, and that was an absolute ripper. Nearly 95 miles an hour. Not sure who who was bowling there, but uh, what a what a ball! Yep. And we uh, start our innings, hopefully like we mean to go on. But no, it didn't get to the boundary. Oh, I thought I hit that well enough, <laughs> and we've gone for we've gone for a duck. You know, I thought you know what I'm just going to go for it. I thought I flicked it well enough. To get it fine enough, but obviously not. 
fielder in a very weird position caught it over his head and uh, yeah I kind of just gave up a bit um, was thought was going to either hit it or not in that over T20 as you can probably tell guys really isn't my thing and uh, I think we're probably going to lose this game yeah we do we lost by 32 runs so definitely not the best performance for us to close out this T20 slam for us at least. Um, but yeah, kind of honestly, no, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of be glad to see the back of T20. It just really isn't my format of game in this game at least. Um, maybe the difficulty is a little too hard for, for T20 for me um, at this stage in Cricket 19. But uh, yeah, definitely not my favourite format of the game. So hopefully we can get into some more county and one day games where I feel a lot more comfortable. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode anyway, even though it was a... A short one. We did get a few bowling overs in, which is good. Uh, helps our bowling stats and stuff. But uh, yeah, our, our Manhattan in T20 must be appalling. Um, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode nevertheless. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do. And I'll catch you again on another episode of Cricket 19 Career Mode.